The Park Terrace bike lane was completed in the fall of 2016. This is the county's first multi-use lane that we've constructed and it is intended for all users. It extends about 1.6 miles from Three Chop Road in generally a horseshoe configuration, crosses Lauderdale, swings back around and ends at Lauderdale. Oh, this is fantastic. We, we use this path quite a bit, as you saw out here riding with our, you know, with our middle-aged men in spandex, if you will. But, uh, but, but, but the fact is, is that you know, it shows a commitment of the county. And it's, it's helping the, you know, the challenges of having cyclists and motorists you know, work together on a roadway. Uh, this helps with that. Park Terrace was originally designed as a road for two-way travel, one lane in each direction, with parking on either side. What we found is there really wasn't a lot of parking. Most people have driveways and their houses don't even face on this road. So the parking was very little used. So by putting the bike lane and the buffer strip in, we didn't take any of the real estate away from the lane. There are still two 12 foot wide, full width lanes in each direction, just as there were before. But now we've taken that relatively little used space and allowed some of our other constituents use that for transportation. These lanes out here create the visibility, they create the awareness, and uh, they are a form of what we call traffic calming measures. Bring the traffic down, ensure that the speeds are reasonable for the neighborhood that it's in, and it provides a safe experience for all. The county is excited to offer this bike lane. We want people to come out and enjoy it, but we also want them to remember to be safe when using it. We would recommend that you would wear a helmet, protective eyewear, whether it be day or night, uh, as well as reflective gear. Uh, for the evening, you must have a headlight, and tail light, um, but any type of reflective gear that will allow you to be seen by motorists. As a cyclist, you need to be aware that traffic is still going to be going up and down the roads that you're riding on, so you still need to be aware of your surroundings as well as you need to be signaling when you're making lane changes and, and you're turning your bike. When you're on a bicycle, remember it is a vehicle, so you have to obey the rules of the road. You also need to follow all the road signs and traffic lights as well. Now, when you're in the position of being a motorist, you need to also be paying attention and looking in those bike lanes while you're driving to make sure that there are no bikes. And when passing, you want to give three feet of distance between you and the cyclist. In Henrico, we have a very active group of folks who are very interested in bicycling and running. It's an incredibly active group. They uh, send us lots of correspondence with suggestions on where to put facilities. They clearly want more of these types of bike lanes in the county. Having this bicycle lane here on this road, it doesn't just provide the safety here, but it creates the awareness that carries on on the other roads that may not have lanes yet.